Today we're going to be going over how to operate a Skyjack SJ3219E Eco Series. This Eco Series was designed with ecological sustainability in mind. It has features such as electric drive motors instead of hydraulic drive motors, which has 60% less hydraulic connections, which also leads to fewer leaks. Also, you get 20% more runtime in between charges. Before operating any of these electric scissor lifts, you're always going to want to make sure on the weatherproof compartment on the platform here that you're going to have your operator's manual and your ANSI's responsibilities manual. Again, those are always going to be located on the weatherproof compartment in the platform here. Let's go ahead and take a look down below on the right hand side of this scissor lift. Now that we're down low here on the right hand side of this machine, by grabbing a hold of this black latch right here, bringing it out towards you, you're going to open up the battery compartment, which is going to have four six volt batteries all located on the right hand side of this machine. Now let's go ahead and go to the other side and see what we got in that compartment. Now down on the left hand side of this machine, we're going to have the hour meter and digital readout display. Also again, by pulling this black latch out towards you, you're going to open up this compartment which has your hydraulic tank, motor, and manifold, all located on the left-hand side of this machine. Now let's go ahead and go to the rear of this unit. Before operating this skyjack from lower controls, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that both your lower and upper e-stops are both up. So e-stop up in the upper platform. You also have your master disconnect switch right here, all the way to the left is power off all the way to the right would be power on. Lower e-stop out. Now to raise and lower this machine from down below, you're gonna take your key switch all the way to the right, function enable, hold it. This rotary switch to the right will lift. Then again, also, Key switch to the right is your function enable. This rotary switch to the left is going to be lower. Now, if for any reason this machine is stuck in the air, your emergency down switch is located right in between the step here. You can either hit it to the right or left. We'll go ahead and take the toggle switch. Push it to the right or left, and that's going to bring you down. Your battery charger is also located in between the stairs here where you just plug in your 110 and charge away. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the platform controls. Now to operate these platform controls for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this upper control box down closer to us so we can see by unpinning the box there. Again, with e-stop out. Now you do have a joystick here, which has a dead man switch. That's your function enable. So always hold that switch in to operate any of these functions. This toggle switch here, all the way to the right, is gonna be for your drive. So again, dead man switch in, you're gonna have your forward and your reverse. You're always gonna steer off the top rocker, left and right. Now to lift this machine, hit that toggle switch to the left, you're going to forward to left, dead man switch back towards you, stick to lower. You also have located up in here this other toggle switch. It's going to be your travel speed. So you're going to have your high and low travel speed and your horns located down below there. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to pin this right back in place. And let's move on to the extension deck. Now, if you're needing any extra room on your platform, by pulling these two pins, you're gonna have one located right here. Second pin there. You can go ahead and slide your extension deck out. Always be sure that you re-pin in whichever desired location you that you're looking for so the deck don't slide on you involuntarily. With the deck back in, I'm gonna always make sure you repin it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the rapid fold. With the new ANSI standards, they've raised the railings on a 3219. But with this rapid fold system, you can still fit through a man door. 
by pulling out these four pins located on the front side here. Those four pins out, your rails will fold down nicely to get through your door. Always be sure once you're through the door, go ahead and raise your rails back up and pin it back into place. Today we went over how to operate a Skyjack SJ3219E Eco Series. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.